Dude, you parked in a handicapped Wait, spot. You I am, I am, I am a little disabled here. Bro, By you the race? Way, number one, three times over. <laughs> By the way, thanks for telling me. I've been showing up at 621 for the last like three weeks. He finally caught on that we moved. I, we were trying to leave him behind, like storage. No office, no desk. I'm like, what's going on? And they're like, oh, we might be moving. We don't know when. Thanks for telling me. Appreciate it's it. Been on YouTube for like a month. He only gets broadcast channels. <laughs> Two, four, five, is seven, it nine. Us? It's cool to see the whole lineup here. This is the first time we've ever stacked them up in front of the new yeah. place. Yeah. All right, what are we doing today, Ben? Finally gonna get to hit that drift jump. Yeah, but first, we're gonna talk about some new artwork that we got going on here. You guys probably remember the last shop. One of the things that was most iconic was all the graffiti, probably best known, the Ewok piece. Everyone's been asking, are you guys gonna do mural work? Are you gonna do graph work in the new spot? And the answer is yes. And it just so happens that Ken launched a whole new livery package with an artist by the name of It's a Living. He was here at our shop, 621, doing all the artwork. But before he left, we said, you know what? Why don't you come here and be the first person to hit the new building? We figured we'd kick the first one off with what's behind door number blue. Yeah, that is blue, you, right? Is that blue? That is, is that a, Is that blue, blue or is that green? It's 100% blue and we're not starting this in this show. Keep that to the donk program, all right? Anyway, if you guys haven't catched it, Ken launched a new livery. Oddly kind of backwards because he did it without launching a new car, but we'll get to that later. I'm sorry, I have to stop you. What's up? Because like you're a prestigious writer, you know, 060 Magazine, all this stuff. You said catched it. What? You said catched it, not caught it. Did Next I? episode, yeah. if you catched it. Oh yeah, caught it. I'm just trying to. Wait, we're just... gonna talk about grammar. It's you guys is an actual term. <laughs> yeah. Use guys. You see, grammar is very important to the Nazi party. In case you guys didn't catch it last week, Ken launched a whole new livery. Oddly, he did it without a car. Is a building a bigger flex than a car, though? <laughs> So we decided to invite Ricardo, AKA It's a Living, to come be the first piece. Who's gonna drop this? Dan, you're definitely the most athletic, the fastest in the group. Oh, well, this is sketchy. Climb the ladder. Oh boy. I just want to point out, we didn't do this for a grand reveal. We did it because it got painted a month or so ago, and you know, we just didn't want it to leak or get damaged. Well, what would be even better if we did like a full, like, topless Scotto, like, to make oh, the course, right. like, 16 okay. chapel style? Hey, there um, is. Hey, there it is. Hey, this is great. Are we ready? Yeah, let's kick it. I don't know how it's going to happen. It's all taped. Jump with it. Just jump. Look and this thing has been off for a moment. Oh boy. Here you go, Dan. <laughs> now go, run, run, run. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, so this year we're working with an artist called It's Living. It's Living is actually his art name. His real name is Ricardo Gonzalez. My name is Ricardo Gonzalez, aka It's a Living. I am a lettering artist from Durango, Mexico, and I'm really a basic group. And I'm just a really big fan of what he does. It's a Living is the style of lettering, but done in very cool and different ways. So everything from like very graffiti, drippy type styles, which is something I'm obviously a very huge fan of if you know my history of livery. calligraphy, street art, graffiti a little bit, I did a little bit when I was young, design and art, so, and music. I put all these things together and I, and I just combine them and that's my style. Oh, to be honest, I'm pretty stoked to work with Ken. He's really, really relaxed, very detail oriented and it's an honor, you know, to work with someone like him and, and a team here at Puniga. Everyone's super chill and very professional. All the stuff that you guys do is like super amazing and to me, to be part of this and create something so unique, it's, it's amazing. There we go. Oh. 
guess I'll find out later what it looks like. Hey, Dan. What's up, Dan? How you doing? How do you get on the way cooler, Dan? Oh, did you not even know what it said from up there? No, I can't see anything. <laughs> I just saw you guys go, whoa, cool. Damn, well, this looks pretty sick, man, especially with all the cars out front. But it is terribly noisy out here, so we're going to go inside, even though it's probably going to be really noisy in there also. Plus, we got the new gear in there, so we can show you that too. Every time I shoot my shot, it's wet. Every time I shoot my shot, it's wet. Every time I shoot my shot, it's wet. Some of you are probably wondering why Ken launched a livery not on a car. is because Ken's gonna be driving multiple cars this year, different manufacturers, so on and so on. That's pretty hot. Dude, that's yeah. sick, I'm that's into that. What's on the, that's what's on the it's wall. A, it's a living as a sicko. Dude, it's that's dope. Special. Engineered by the scumbags at Hoonigan. Wow. Like that. That's sick, man, I like this. So we got it on a tee, a long sleeve, a zip hoodie. Pull over. Honestly, that's in Carolina. Yeah, that's nice right too. There. Well, Hoonigan's always proved it to be like the studio for all the artists. So we had Felipe Pantone come out and paint stuff in the building. And that was like way back. You remember that? Yeah. That was actually when I was building the Nova for the first time. I found some photos the other day and it was like, damn. It was like the empty building. It was just like, yeah, that whole side of the there. warehouse was just for art. And then in that same warehouse, we had Desperate come and do the whole art car. Yep, for Ken's Kazi too. So yep. Hoonigan's kind of been the studio for artists to do their thing before it's it comes to You know Ken's why, right? It's Ken don't want anyone to mess up his spot. He doesn't want the paint overspray. No, he don't want the overspray. <laughs> but since Ricardo actually, he did all the actual artwork at the old place, which is, you know, what you see on the back of this, and you may or may not have been lucky enough to get one of the hundred prints, but sorry. Through the network drop. That. Don't worry, we didn't get any either. No, we yeah. didn't. <laughs> True story, we all got this. But we figured, even though he did all the artwork there, we wanted him to leave a mark on this spot. I don't know, what, is that like our Instagram wall now? Dude, oh, it looks sick. Like, instead I'm of having to stand with your girlfriend in front of a flower wall or a love wall or a wing wall, you can come stand in front of the Just Ain't Care wall. Wait, did you already have your... Of course I already got my shot. Of course. Did you get that before we got here today? I got it before the tarp even went on. Yo, come, oh, take a photo thing. and tag, you know. I don't know, what are we gonna... Ooh. So anyway, that's the first of many pieces we're gonna do here. Actually, one of the big things we have to do today is we have to move the containers in the back because they're gonna start getting painted. And in order to do that, somebody has to hit the drift jump. We gotta engineer the drift jump so we know where to put the containers. It's for science, Hurt. I never thought this was gonna happen so soon, but here we are. All right, so we might be jumping ahead a little bit. We're just gonna jump into the drift jump, but we're doing this for scientific purposes. We wanna put containers from here to like about there. And the worry is if you hit the drift jump, will you hit the containers? So today, Hurt's gonna be our guinea pig if we can find him a helmet. Yo, let me get your FD when you die. <laughs> oh shit, can I have the Corolla? Uh, you guys don't want, all my cars are broken. Oh wait, my Sparkle's in my, in in my car? car. Oh. It should be on guys, my. have you no, seen no, our no. new t-shirts? Oh. Oh, just wrap it around his head. Someone hop oh, in. Someone hop in. Look at me. Ah, oh, dude. You're, this is safe. This is a perfect Nerf bar. Only at Hoonigan.com. find some sort of safety. Vinny and I are gonna hit you with predictions. So what do you think, Vinny? What do you think's gonna happen? Do you think uh, he's even gonna get airborne? No. You don't even think he'll get airborne? No. I think he might get some air. We know Hurt's not gonna pussy foot into it. No, no, so. no, not at all. Not at all. He's gonna come in flat. This is FD spec. You might gotta run flat. the low pressures for grip. Might be flat. It's okay, he's drifting up the ramp on that wheel. That wheel doesn't even matter. Yeah, that wheel doesn't even matter. <laughs> Hurt, can you and show us what you need one more time? I need a screw to go in the... You got a I screw to go this, in the hole. So I found this screw that they were using to put drywall in and it just... Shift now. This is definitely a second gear initiative. So we need we need a, we need need some tape though, because that's going to fall out. Or zip ties. Yeah, a zip tie would be great. Where's the zip tie oh, you wait, Hold up, this? hold up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There, dude, this is... Perfect. You got anything for leverage? Bend it, hold it there. Fold that together. Yep. Hold it. There we go. Now yeah. bend that around there. Yeah. Oh. oh. Fixed. Yo, that okay. works perfect. 
How that many episodes will it take for us to fix that? Like, it's gonna know. live there. Forever. We're gonna be in a different building. <laughs> <laughs> Because if you, yeah, you went the most outside yeah. you go. I think you can come to here, like literally just like corner this with, yeah. with K rail oh, so that you nice. have the, because that way you get that out to the edge moment yeah. right here. I'll tell you what, I haven't, I wasn't in control of that. <laughs> but that's good because yeah. that means that if you're out of control, that's, that's kind of yeah, where you I live. wasn't in control of that. <laughs> it looked like you were. I, it, those tires are glazed and it was the just. The throttle's like, like kind of on, yeah, sometimes off. So it just, you know, I just. It does what it wants yeah, to. I did yeah. my best to make it go where yeah. I wanted it to go. You know, you can't expect much from a full grown pony. Or a half grown, grown horse. Half grown horse, full grown pony. Yep. Welcome to Tire Slayer Studio. <laughs> Good to have you back, Don. 